Information contained in this YouTube video and the resources available in the links below is not intended as and shall not be understood or construed as financial advice. We are not attorneys, accountants, or financial advisors, nor are we holding ourselves out to be, and the information contained is not a substitute for financial advice from a professional who is aware of the facts and circumstances of, of your individual situation. We have done our best to ensure that the information provided on this channel and the resources available are accurate and provide valuable information. Regardless of anything to the contrary, nothing available on or through the show should be understood as a recommendation that you should not consult with a financial professional to address your particular information. In short, only blame yourself if you lose money. Thank you. Are you out there buying tops? and selling dips. You see Bitcoin at $20,000 and all of a sudden now you want to sell because you think your portfolio is dead. Well, this is for you. Is that close enough? No, no, you want it closer? You. Stay tuned. What's up, what's up, what's up, it's your boy, who, 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 Roots, the Alcorn Champ, back at it again with another video. And that's right, today we're going to talk about, yes, I'm talking about, huh, 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 the Bitcoin bull. Bitcoin is what runs this whole market. If Bitcoin goes down, your all coins are going down. When Bitcoin goes up, we're all going up. And B Roots is just adding diamonds to his all coin championship belt and his beautiful Gucci, Gucci, Gucci sunglasses. That's right, I'm inside and I'm wearing Gucci sunglasses because I can. So, we're in a bear market. Everybody knows about it. The last bear market, when the price was cashed in at $3,000, guess what? B Roots made a prediction. He called that El Salvador was going to use Bitcoin as legal tender. He called it when nobody else was. Everybody was complaining about the price going down and that Bitcoin was going to zero. But B Root said, no, 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 no. And he did have some pretty dreads back then, but you know, bear market was over and B Root had to change his look. Bought some Gucci glasses, a nice, beautiful altcoin champ belt and predicted that El Salvador was coming to make it legal tender. But guess what? He predicted about where one should have cashed out. Not financial advice, but that $55,000 was a great cash out plan. Because at the first run, it stopped at $65,000 and then went up to $69,000. But now the price is sitting at $22,000. Wouldn't you wish you would have got out of $55,000 like the B Roots plan said it was? B Roots is a beast. So, we're in a bear market. It's time for B Roots to uh, <laughs> make his prediction. But let's go back to the last bear market when the price was tanking and what B Roots said. Screenshot this or take this video because in the future as long as youtube doesn't take this video down why would they that's sarcastic. as long as youtube doesn't take this video down you're going to hear this prediction that's going to be right on point all right let's hear it for me for me so seems like you're stalling right now but no 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 okay, you, I'm just you, saying, the setup is big I'm just saying, that's all <laughs> the frenzy will not start till after we hit 20,000. This price right now can go all the way down to $5 and there will be no frenzy. It won't go to $5. Let's be there right would, there. Well, no, okay, but it will, there will be no frenzy. When it goes to five, back up to five thousand, back up to ten. Disagree. You have to pitch you eighteen thousand. Five dollars. There still will not be a frenzy. Once twenty thousand hits, the media is going to be all over it. 
disagree. I 100% agree because I think in within two years, some country, some major country, I'm not going to say it's China. I'm not going to say it's America. I don't know if it's, it's France. I don't, there will be a country that is going to be fully all about Bitcoin and Bitcoin will be in everything within two years. There will be a country that is going to be fully all about Bitcoin and Bitcoin will be in everything within two years. I think. I, in everything within a certain within a certain um, within a, a certain country using it, backing it, hundred percent. Can I point it. something out real quick? Go ahead. Roots. I agree with that statement that that adoption is coming. Now, mm -hmm. whether it'll be Bitcoin, you which I, the only thing I don't agree with is you. We need to replace ah, you said Bitcoin we're, we're with cryptocurrency because this, you're putting a lot onto Bitcoin. It might not be Bitcoin, bro. This title is about Bitcoin and only Bitcoin. So right now, within two years, I believe that stopping point is. Oh, look at he's kind of got him there. <laughs> Let's hear it already. Oh, we don't have all day. Ready? Yeah, ready? I'm ready? ready? I'm ready. Fifty-five thousand four hundred. And fifty-five dollars. That is very precise. What about the change? Why? What about the change? Because I want here's to the, real here's the big it. here's the big why. It's all going to be mental and psychological within the news. There will be about eighteen million one hundred thousand in that area of Bitcoin on the market. And when that happens, your, your market cap for Bitcoin at that price is going to be just under a trillion dollar market cap. Are you and talking about the market cap of Bitcoin alone? Okay. At that price will be right about there. And that is going to be the biggest selling point for the media is that trillion dollar market cap Bitcoin. And right there, there's going to be tons of people come, even more people coming in. And that's when all the well, on that's when all the wells, everybody on dumps it on everybody. And the price does exactly what it did at $20,000 and corrects 85% down. Back to Let's see. I, I don't know what that price is. So let's go. Do you have some math ready? Fifty. Carry, you at least carry the one. Thousands times eighty-five percent. Ooh. You ready for this? I've been ready. <laughs> it might be a little less than eighty-five percent, but do you see what we're doing right now? I do. At that ten thousand dollar level, at that ten thousand dollar level, we're making this. They're making this big old thing about this ten thousand dollar level. Well, guess what? Eighty to eighty five percent of fifty five thousand. Ten thousand. Bam! Woo! <laughs> That's right. B Roos pretty much called the bull market. To a T, two years before it happened. Take that, Richard Hart. You might have did it on the day, but B Roots did it two years prior. Beast mode. So what about now? Everybody's crying about Celsius. Everybody's crying about about Taylor gets liquidated of all his Bitcoin. That, you know, the price of Bitcoin is just going to drop. And it absolutely would. But guess what? It's not over. I don't care what's going on in the outside world. Everything is all palm trees. We're going to get back to the Bitcoin bull. B Roots is going to get back to making meme coins. 100x, 1000x, 10 thousand x it's going to get back to that but why is b root so sure 
Once again, not financial advice, but a month before the Bitcoin talk. Billionaire Carl Icahn says this. And you hinted that cryptocurrencies might be in that space. Are they? You're looking at them, but not an investor yet. What would it take for you to be an investor in crypto? Yeah, look, at I, I think a natural manifestation of, its, of this inflation, of it, not yet, it's not yet there, but you had it in the 70s. And, and, and what's going to happen if you have that is, it, it, it's going to, a phenomenon of that is going to be for looking for other stores of value mm. except outside the dollar, right? Because then, just, just you know, we're, we're, we're a reserve currency now, but if you keep printing the money, it's not going to be there. Now, I'm not telling you that's going to happen for sure, and I'm not even telling you, yeah, I'm, I'm not telling you it will happen, but a currency like this cryptocurrency, while well, you look at it and say, it really has no value. That's what the critics say. And I don't own any at this point. I don't own any at this point. At this point. At this point. And I don't own any at this point. So but, are. And hey, but if you're, looking, if you're looking for something where you might have another store of value, the criticism is a little bit, shall I say, wrong headed when you say, well, what's the, value of, what's the value of a cryptocurrency? Well, what's the value of the dollar? The only value of the dollar, really is because you can use it to pay taxes. Because you say, I can't, look, I can't use a cryptocurrency. What can I use it for? What can we, why, can you use, why can you go out and buy a loaf of bread with a dollar? So it's the same thing. Now, the only thing you can do with the dollar, that's for sure, is pay your taxes. I know that you haven't bought into crypto yet, but when you're assessing the cryptocurrency space, are you looking at Bitcoin? Are you looking at Ethereum? Are they the two main areas? Yeah, I'm looking at the whole business. I, I'm not looking at, at, at what to buy necessarily at this time. I, I'm just looking at the whole business and how I might get involved with, with, in it with, with Icon Enterprises in, in, a, in a relatively big way, in, in, a, in a relatively big way, in, in, a, in a relatively big way. But, but sometimes we go bigger than that, sometimes a lot smaller. But so I, I'm not going to say exactly. But because um, I do think it's here to stay in one form or another. I think... There relatively big one. way. What does relatively well, big way mean, Carl? Well, a big way for us would, would, would not be to buy a few uh, coins or something. You know, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. you know, I'm not going to buy a few coins. It's, it, it, I don't believe in trading the market if I can help it. You know, I've, uh, I've learned hundreds of millions, years. billions. Is that what we're talking? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it could be. I mean, a big way for us would be, you know. A billion dollars, billion and a half dollars, something like that. But uh, that would be a sort of a big way, I guess, for us. B Roots is calling again. Carl saves the day. Maybe it's Warren Buffett. Who knows who this is going to be, but there's going to be a billionaire that buys it up. And from that episode of Bloomberg, B. Roots thinks it's going to be Mr. Billionaire Carl. He's going to be in his yacht doing the Carl dance. No, I'm not talking about that, Carl. I'm talking about Carl Ted. Ha! B. Roots is an all coin champ for a reason. So he's buying his cult. He's buying up MRI. He's buying up Hex. And he's waiting for Pulse Chain to launch. And he's going to add millions and millions of more diamonds on this belt. b Roos doesn't miss. So B root says, BTFA. You thought I was gonna say buy the dip. I'm talking about those NFTs are gonna be on point. Bottom line is B roots is not afraid of this market. When it goes down, it's opportunity for B roots. Places like Miami doesn't spend money on a Bitcoin bull. If you think this is over with, you're crazy. The governments are working together. They're setting it up for Bitcoin to be big here in America. Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to the outside world. 
listen to B Roots. Now make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button so you can get notifications when B Roots comes out this alpha. And it calms you down. It calms your nerves and puts you in a situation to get yourself some Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Hoorah!